guys, it's Misty. So you see right here is my, um, all of my purchases that I made today from the Goodwill. And it was a great day at the Goodwill today. Um, I w wanted to run in really quick and I normally go in on Mondays to see what, um, what the color changes, if there's anything that I can find and um, that is half price. And I did find some things that were half price, but I also found some things that were worth paying the full price for. At my Goodwill, in southern indiana um shirts and sweaters and tops of any kind men's and women's are 449 that's their normal price t-shirts um are a dollar 99 um pants and jeans uh, are 699 shoes are 499 purses are 499 hard goods are different prices so uh, dresses are normally 699 coats are 699 so it makes it pretty easy to go in there um and kind of know what your profit of margin, your profit margin is a little bit when you go in there. So today was green. Green was the color of the week. Um, and I got this whole pile. So first things first, let's get started. All right, first thing that I bought was, it wasn't the first thing that I bought, but it's the first thing in this pile. It's an Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, which I wouldn't normally pick up. However, this, is it's just a, a cute little um ivory colored cardigan it's got chunky buttons on it it it's new i mean it doesn't have the tag on it but it has the little sticker right there so i'm gonna say that that's new because it's the sticker is on there um it and i paid again i paid 4.49 for this so it was the full price today uh, but it's cute. It's a small, but it's an oversized small. So it should do uh, pretty good considering that it is new. Then I, I did get a couple of Abercrombie pieces and I didn't put them in order yet. So it, we'll get there. The next thing I got is a Guess sweater. It is an extra large and it has like the little... Um, a little slouchy neck here and it's got um let me try to get a better view of it the sleeve is doing some funny things so it's cable knit it was 449 so i did get it for a half price um, and it does have the little um logo on the buttons it's a size extra large so this one i've i've seen in there for a couple of trips a couple weeks that i've been in there and i've been hoping that it stays um, until it's half price and today was the day that I was able to buy it. I do really well on collegiate wear, um, depending on what the brand is. This is UCSB, which is the, uh, University of Southern California, Santa Barbara. Um, and it is the, it is like the collegiate wear from the campus collection from down there. It's an extra large. It's in great condition. It feels like it's only been worn maybe a couple of times. Um, and I'll either try to sell it or I'll give it to my daughter. She'll like it. It was, I could not buy it because it was $1.99 normally. And it, since the color of the week was green, it was half price. So that was a no-brainer. Today was a day of concert and rock band shirts, which made me very happy because all of the graphic t-shirts in my Goodwill are $1.99. So this one is Kansas. And this is an extra large, I do believe. Yeah, it's an extra large. Just one-sided. Kansas. I'm going to try to find another couple of t-shirts. Oh, this one is a, it's a large, so I may keep this one. I don't know. It's a Motley Crew. Motley Crew. So, and it also was $1.99. So I couldn't pass that one up either. This one is a size large. Also, it's going to be tempting not to keep this one. It was a dollar ninety nine. All graphic T-shirts are dollar ninety nine. It is a Zion brand, which I've I've sold before, and it is Johnny Cash. Gosh, it's going to be hard for me to sell this one. I'll have to see what the comps are because I like money more than I like having a T-shirt. All right. The next one is a another large. They're all large. I'm pretty sure that they're probably all donated, all donated by the same person. 
This is a Led Zeppelin. First North American Tour, 1969. Now, this is not an original 1969 concert shirt, but it, it's still pretty cool. And it for $1.99, I mean, it was well worth it. There's a couple more t-shirts in here, but I'm just going to go with what's on top of the pile. This, oh, oh, this makes me happy. I'm going to keep it just to wear to bed. But it is, are you ready? This grumpy cat. I love it. This is mine. I'm so totally keeping this. My husband's going to love it so much when I wear this to bed. Grumpy Cat. It's an officially licensed Grumpy Cat product. All right. Next thing is this. Kaisley. I think it's an anthropology brand. Um, it is a medium. Just a striped, little striped sweater. Um, and anything anthropology buy. If you can... Anthropology, there are like little different brands that are sold at the anthropology store. Um, so you kind of have to do your research to find out what brands are anthropology. Not all of them have the um, the RN number, which I can't remember. So, yeah, I can't remember the RN. This is the RN number this one has. Usually down there you can tell if it has, and I for anthropology because what I normally do is I'll just do a Google search for the brand and it normally will show up anthropology and I just kind of double check it before I list it to make sure um but this is just a size medium sweater it was normally $4.49 and it was half price so it was worth it now I have with all the videos that I watch I've always wanted to find a Hawaiian muumuu um, just because I think they're cool. Just a vintage Hawaiian muumuu. And today was the day that I found it. I, it is a Kai's made in Hawaii. It is an extra large. I did pay $6.99 for it because that's what our dresses go for. And it is... Oh, it's so pretty. It's so ugly that it's pretty. But these sell for about $30. Bucks. Um, so my $6.99 investment should... Um, should hold its weight. I don't know if I'm going to wait and list it uh, this spring, but it has like all the little Hawaiian islands on it. And it was made in Hawaii and it is an extra large. So it had, it was, che I was checking all of the appropriate boxes to buy it. So I did. This, I just did a quick Google search and I thought it was worth it. It was in the men's section. It was $4.49 and it is Rogue. It's an extra large, and it has this, it's sort of like a affliction, which I hate, but it sells. It's an affliction-ish um, thing. It's a blazer, it's a men's blazer, rogue, it's got a dragon. It's very ugly, but somebody will like it. It's vicious, rogue vicious, I don't know. But these were going for over $100. So I thought I would give it a try. I mean, I don't care that it's ugly. Somebody will like it. I just couldn't, I just, I couldn't imagine the guy that would wear that. But, oh, and it's got like a very raw hem um, all along it, all along the edges. So somebody will like it, I'm sure. It's ugly, but. All right, Madewell. I have never found a Madewell shirt before, ever. So today was the day, and I don't care that it was $4.49 because I bought it anyway because I wanted to check that brand off of my list. It is a size small. It's just a little brown, kind of lagging look, layered um, sweater. Um, I paid $4.49 for it, but there's the logo, Madewell. It's in pretty good shape. But I want you know, sometimes when you find brands that you've never found before and you just want to check that box, I checked that box today. Next thing is a vintage chaps sweater with the crest. It's a very, very 1990s. Um, so I figured it would do good. It is a size medium chaps. It is, this is hand framed, 100% cotton. And it was $4.49. 
It's a sweater. This I got for myself. It is just Faded Glory, which I think is either Walmart or Kmart. But I I like to wear um, t-shirts with a denim or a flannel over it in the wintertime. So it's just like this heavier um, with the metal buttons. Um, I paid $4.49 for it, but it's for myself. So I'm worth $4.49. It's long sleeves. Nothing biggie. But it's for me. The next thing I got is this. I think that this is an anthropology brand. It, it was, this was actually the first thing that I had in my cart today. It is Nally and Millie. It is a, it was made in the USA, which usually things that are made in the USA are usually typically pretty good. So if you find something that has a made in the USA tag, always look it up because it's typically a pretty good thing to find. This has like butterflies. It's just a little cardigan. This is the back of it. It has a big butterfly on it. The buttons on the front are really cute. They're like little, um, they're not glass, they're plastic, but they're clear little plastic, look almost like flower buds. And they are all there. I double checked that because I, so many times I've gotten things home and the buttons are missing. Um, so it was half price. So it was $4.49. It was the color of the week. Um, so that this was the first thing that I bought. And I believe that I saw that the comps for that were around 19 to $25. So it was definitely worth, worth the $2.25 that I paid for it. The next thing is, I think this is a Stitch Fix brand. It is a Leo and Nicole. It is a size small. I did pay $4.49 for it, but the comps were still like $19, $20, bucks, so I still thought it was worth my time and money to get. It's a cute little cable knit, cable knit sweater. It's a really pretty color, and it has um, um, the quarter, three quarter inch sleeve, so it's great for fall. This is another Abercrombie sweater, um, and I bought it. It is not new, but it's it's like new, um, but it was half price, so I bought it. It is a size small. It's really soft. I don't even know. I bet you that it's cotton, but I mean, it, it, it feels really soft. It is, no, it's 73% wool. Look at you, Abercrombie. Oh, no, this is not Abercrombie. It's American Eagle, which is on the same level there, but um, but it is wool, so it felt it does feel pretty soft. Next thing is an Abercrombie and Fitch. I did get a couple of those, but um, this one was new with tags, and it says the um, the retail price was sixty eight dollars. So I paid four forty nine. For it. It's a size small, unfortunately, but it's a cute little cow neck um, knit sweater. I believe this feels pretty good, too. Oh, it's just, it's acrylic. It's an acrylic blend. It does feel pretty soft, though, but it's new with tags, and I'm trying to um, find as many new with tags things as I can um, for the holiday season. Here's another, now this shirt may probably is going to be in my closet. It, again, all graphic shirts are $1.99. This is a Nirvana. I love it. It's probably going to be mine. All right. The next thing I got is a Brooks Brothers button-up, men's button-up shirt. It is peach. I know, I don't know if a lot of men will like peach, but... Very seldom do I find the Brooks Brothers with the um, with the logo on the on the chest. So since this one had the logo, I bought it. I did pay four forty nine for it, but I typically sell Brooks Brothers fairly quickly. Um, if it has, I'll only buy it if it has the crest on it. Oh, and that is a size medium. The next thing was uh, the half price, so it was two twenty five. It is, and this is something that I've seen for the past couple of weeks when I've gone in there and I just waited um, for it to go on half price. And it's just a large Ralph Lauren red cable knit sweater with the gold logo. So I got that. Next thing is, here's the tag. The tag fell off. So it is new with tags, but the tag's kind of hurting. 
Um, this is a Cottonwood Canyon. It's just a Nuva Tags flannel. It's extra 2X. It's a 2X. Um, the MSRP on it was $44, so I thought it was worth the, um, it was $449. But again, I'm trying, I'm looking for, the name of my game is Nuva Tags. I'm trying to stick with Nuva Tags unless I can get it half price. This um, was half price, this next sweater. It is just a Nordstrom it's a vintage Nordstrom size medium. It is 100% merino wool, shoulder pad, cardigan, and it has really pretty um, shell buttons on it. So it was $2.25. That's worth it to me. All right, the next two things I got were um, two purses. This fossil purse was the first one. The purses at my Goodwill are $4.49. And I like that at my Goodwill um, in, in Bedford, they actually put hanging tags on the purses. The ones in Bloomington don't, so the purses never go on sale um, in the, other, the bigger Goodwills that I go to. But the ones in Bedford, they do put a hanging tag. So when it's Red Week, then the purses that are marked with a red tag will go on 50%. This I did not pay 50% for. Um, the only thing that's missing is the little pull tab on the top zipper, which I hope doesn't affect it too much. But it is an all leather fossil uh, crossbody, adjustable strap. It has the um, the little key. It has the little lock. Uh, it's all leather. And whenever I've uh, listed fossil purses, they sell within the a day. Um, and this is a crossbody, so I think that that helps it. The only thing is that little, um, the little leather strap on the zipper. So, but I mean, I can maybe t attach something else to it to make up for that, but $449. Um, and I, I can probably sell that for $35, $40. The next purse, I have never heard of this brand, but I did look it up. It is leather. It smells, it smells like leather. It feels like leather. It is leather. It's Italian leather. Not only is it leather, it's Italian leather. Um, it is a uh, Merino Orlandi. I've never heard of them. Um, purse. Shoulder bag. Tote. It's a nice size. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent condition. It barely looks like it's ever been used. The inside is flawless. There isn't a stain to be seen. Um, and on the inside, it does say it has the leather band. It says that it is made in Italy, genuine leather. I think that I looked, the comps up for this were around $65, and I paid $4.49 for it. I always check, when I get to Goodwill, I always check and I just feel the purses. You can usually tell just by feeling it if it's worth you know looking into, because um, you can tell that it's leather. The, the fossil definitely is leather. I mean, it's, it, you can feel it. All right, the next couple things I got, again, sticking with the new thing. This is an unseal, or it's never been opened, this puzzle. It says, here comes treble, and it's the band Rush. So, like, the original price was $16.88, but it's never been opened. It's a band. It's Rush. I thought it might, someone might want it as a Christmas gift. I paid... $1.99. So that was definitely a good buy today. Um, the next couple, I bought two of these. I own an antique store on our little square in our little town. And, and we have a Christmas parade and um, at, we try to decorate um, to get people to come to the parade, to get people to come into the store. Um, and so whenever I find little um, light up decorations, I buy them. This is a little 20 inch folding snowflake. Uh, it, there's two of them. They've never been opened and I paid $3.99 for them. So I will use those in my shop. Two of those. Here's the other one. Last thing is, this is what I was really excited about. I bought a Prima scooter cover. Brand new in the box. Never been used. I thought the box itself looked like one of those holiday gifts that you get, um, at Kohl's, they have like little holiday novelty things at Christmas time. But then I looked it up and it's like sells for $70, $80 on eBay. So um, I paid $3.99 for it. So 
I was happy about that. So I quickly put that in my cart. Um, and it is a scooter cover. It says it's for the SCLX model. Um, it says it includes a zip out compartment for rear top cases, oversized to fit your windshield. So I'm going to listen to that pretty soon. So I was excited about that. It's also new. It's never been used. Um, so that's it. So I try to go to Goodwill every Monday because they change the color week. Even though every every Sunday I tell myself that I'm not going until I get everything that I have listed. I didn't do that today. Um, I need to rein it in and quit buying things. Because today I spent $102. How, however, if I sell this and this, I've got my money back and then some. So... I think I did pretty good today. So now I just gotta be getting this stuff listed and um, and not buy, not try not to buy anymore, but it's so hard not to go in and just check, just check to see what Goodwill has put out. So on the color of the week. This Saturday is the first Saturday of the month, so the entire store will be 50% off. So I'm, I mean, I'm gonna have to go to that. How can you not? So first Saturday of every month, the Goodwill, at least in Indiana, they have the entire store is 50% off. So we'll definitely be going to the Goodwills then. So anyway, that's my video for the day. And I hope y'all have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.